As you all know, the final debate uh, took place earlier this week at Lynn University in Boca Raton, Florida. And of course, after the debate, all the political operatives in media, what they do is they all comment on the debate from Spin Alley. So we decided to send our most trustworthy correspondent to cover this historic event. Our old friend, Triumph, the insult, come and go. Reporting here live at the presidential debate in Boca Raton, Florida. Bob Schieffer, he is the moderator, he's 75 years old, or as the residents here in Boca Raton call him, middle-aged. <laughs> the Florida audience is being instructed not to applaud, and to refrain from dying during the debate. A reaction of any kind. They're now telling the crowd to turn off their cell phones because they might interfere with Mitt Romney's circuitry. Exciting. The debate takes place at Lynn University. And here I am with the president of Lynn University. I've never heard of Lynn University. And I understand neither of you. Lynn University is actually a very prestigious institution. It's a great safety school for kids who don't get into clown college. <laughs> In a few minutes, there will be a five minute intermission so that the audience can unwrap their hard candy. The crowd is so old. One more joke, you're gonna love it. The crowd is so old that Bob Schieffer's already collected five phone numbers. <laughs> All right, get to work, get to work. There's CNN's coverage, those lines during the debate. That's not from a focus group. It's actually Bob Schieffer's heartbeat. Get it? Okay, he doesn't get it. David Schuster. I'm so much happier for having seen you triumph. You warm my heart. I'm happy to uh, brighten your day, given that you're on current TV. And seriously. Yeah, I'm door now. I saw your ratings. Really? Yeah, I used an electron microscope. You right from the New York Post? That's right. That's okay. No problem. I, I lean to the right myself but only because they cut my left testicle off. <laughs> We're now in the spin room. It's Norm Coleman, the former senator from Minnesota. Look at this guy go, and look at him defend Romney. Imagine how good he'd be if he believed what he was saying. <laughs> only thing whiter than Boca Raton are his teeth. <laughs> so tell me this about Romney, because the biggest criticism I have is that he's, he's not consistent, you know? He's absolutely confused. Give me a break. Romney changes positions more than Lassie did on her prom night. <laughs> Where's Governor Sununu? It's over there. Oh, okay. Governor Sununu, how are you from the Conan O'Brien show? <laughs> Sorry, Governor. Governor, please just clarify for me. So you're in favor of smaller government and larger cheeseburgers. <laughs> Governor, which would you rather have? Your country back or baby backs? <laughs> John McCain is here, just in case Mitt Romney needs advice on what not to do. <laughs> just before everything's fine. Governor Rubio, I know you're a great man, but uh, I hope you know that in real life, if you appeared on Governor Romney's property, he would have you shot. A key. A key. Uh, legendary Congressman Peter King of New York. Uh, he is calling security because he believes this reporter is a Muslim. <laughs> Peter King. I would leave now. <laughs> Governor Pataki, you are against government wait, wait. intervention, right? You made a career out of it against no. Cuomo. You don't want the government to get involved. Of course, on people. Oh. I am very much in favor of leaving people on their own. Yes, Government should get out of the way. In term, and and in, the, in, in terms of marriage equality as well? I think the state should make decisions. Okay, so you're sort of, kind of the government should be involved in that. So you're go, you, uh, you might say you go both ways. <laughs> <laughs> you see what there I was, it was yeah. worth the wait. It was worth it. Was, <laughs> all this all was trickle way. down government. Yeah. I'm sorry, I have, I haven't, uh, since I was neutered, I haven't trickled down in 20 years. Please attempt to explain to me how Romney could have possibly won this debate. Go ahead. 
<laughs> well, it's plain to me that he did. Listen to this guy. He cares less about what comes out of his mouth than Kim Kardashian cares about what goes into her. <laughs> talk to the media now. We're going to talk to the media now. No, no, no. Excuse me, Conan O'Brien show. No. Trying to get them the shot and ruin your shot. No, not possible. Okay. Conan O'Brien show. I'm trying to ruin your shot. Is that all right? Yeah, you're about to ruin a live shot. Seriously, Boca Raton, I haven't seen that much white hair since Madonna climbed out of a limousine. Excuse me. Just trying to ruin the shot for just a second. Is that okay? Can I ruin the shot? Just for a second. I just want to get into the shot and ruin it. Please, please, just be a second. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to ruin the shot. I'm on Fox News! I just want to ruin the shot. Is that possible? No, a little bit. Yeah, a little ruin. Just a little ruin. Quick ruin. Here we go. One, two, three. On three. Ruin. Ruining. How are you doing? He loves it. Look at him. Comedy is the universal language. See? Our differences wiped away by one ruined shot. This would kill Coco. Come on, come on. Okay, 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 okay. You're right, you're right, you're right. One more ruin. Okay. <laughs> so trying to get killed. Get in Sean Hannity shot. Sorry, everyone. Excuse me. Just trying to ruin the shot. Okay, I'll just do this. Distinction tonight, too. Uh... Hey, Sean! Hannity! <laughs> Stop ruining the shots. Okay, all right. So, okay, I'm not going to ruin the shot. I'm done ruining shots. I sort of got a little bit of... I'm ruining the shot! Particularly, uh, we now know that there was a video. No. You talk to me. I know who you are. Let's talk, Sean. Sean, look at you. You're in great shape. Of course, who wouldn't be if they shoveled crap all day long? Okay. You can see the debate is over. Everyone is left except for this reporter from Poland. Because of the time difference, he thinks the debate starts in 12 hours. <laughs> Ryan, your reporter, saying good night. Nice work, Triumph, the insult comic dog. We'll be right back. There he is, Simon Becker.